Welcome to this week's Word Nerd Trivia Challenge. Each week we bring you a 25 question quiz in five different categories. Each correct answer is worth one point. Your categories this week are Famous Album Covers, See You Next Wednesday, TV Shows Based on Movies, Famous Statues, and There's a New Sheriff in Town. We'll start with the level one questions, and those should be the easiest ones of the bunch. First up is Famous Album Covers, and this is pretty straightforward. I've removed the name of the album and the artist from the cover. You just have to identify what the album is. You know, go ahead and give yourself an extra point if you can name the band. Here's your first cover. What album is it? That's Hotel California by the Eagles. Our next category is See You Next Wednesday. This is a category about fake movies. Don't worry, it'll all make sense eventually. In what movie does a mother ask a video store clerk for a copy of the fake movie Happy Scrappy Hero Pup? Happy Scrappy Hero Pup was a fake movie in Clerks. Our next category is about TV shows that are based on movies. What long-running series was based on a 1970 comedic war film that was directed by Robert Altman? The answer is MASH. Oh, so we have our first bonus question of the week. Cool. Which of these characters was played by the same person in both the film and the TV show? Hawkeye, Trapper John, Radar, or Hot Lips? The answer is Radar, who is played in both by Gary Burkhoff. Our next category features famous statues from around the world. I'll show you the statue, you just have to give the name. What is the name of this statue? That is Christ the Redeemer, which looks down on Rio de Janeiro. Our final category this week is There's a New Sheriff in Town. As you may have guessed, it's a category about famous sheriffs. Now, as usual, I have to remind you, don't get too worried. Most of these guys had movies made about them. Pat Garrett was elected sheriff of Lincoln County, New Mexico, after tracking down what famous outlaw? The answer is Billy the Kid. All right, moving on to level two. What famous album cover is this? That's the cover to David Bowie's The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. In what 1990 movie does a young boy watch and draw inspiration from the fake crime film Angels with Filthy Souls? The answer is Home Alone, you filthy animal. Oh, we got a bonus question. All right, in Home Alone 2, what is the name of the sequel to Angels with Filthy Souls? The answer is Angels with Even Filthier Souls. What anthology crime show takes its name and inspiration from a classic 1996 Coen Brothers film? The answer is Fargo. What is the name of this statue? That is the Little Mermaid, which can be found in Copenhagen, Denmark. Nucky Johnson, who inspired the character on Boardwalk Empire, became sheriff of what city in 1908? The answer is Atlantic City. Moving on to level three. What famous album cover is this? That's the cover to Whipped Cream and Other Delights by Herb Alpert's T. Warner Brass. If you don't know that one, you're not buying your records at Goodwill. 
In what 1998 film would you find Carl Hungus and Bunny La Hoya appearing in the fake movie Log Jammin? The answer is The Big Lebowski, and I'm pretty sure Carl does not fix the cable. What Supernatural series was based on a 1992 comedy film that featured Rutger Hauer, Donald Sutherland, and Paul Rubens? The answer is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, we got another bonus, all right. What country singer co-owns the production company that made both the Buffy film and TV show? The answer is Dolly Parton. In addition to being a national treasure, she's also co-owner of Sand Dollar Productions. What is the name of this statue? That is the Motherland Calls, which can be found in Russia. At a height of 85 meters, this was the tallest statue in the world when it was completed in 1967, though it has since lost that title. Who was made sheriff of Ellis County, Kansas in 1869, but was soon voted out for being too wild? The answer is Wild Bill Hickok. I mean, it was right there in the name. What were they expecting? Move it on to level four. What famous album cover is this? That's the cover to Straight Outta Compton by N.W.A. All right, we have to address the name of the category now. See You Next Wednesday is a fake movie that appears in multiple films by John Landis. Here's a billboard for it in the Blues Brothers. Here's a poster for it in Trading Places. And here's a theater showing it in an American Werewolf in London. But what real 1968 film is See You Next Wednesday referencing? a reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey. In the film, those are the last words spoken by Frank Poole's parents in a birthday video message. Spoiler, thanks to HAL 9000, they did not see him next Wednesday. What science fiction series starring Richard Dean Anderson was based on a 1994 film starring Kurt Russell? The answer is Stargate SG-1. What is the name of this statue? That is Portlandia, which can be found in... Hold on, let me check my notes. Oh, Portland, Oregon. I guess the name should have been a giveaway. What future U.S. president was elected sheriff of Erie County, New York in 1870? Grover Cleveland, Millard Fillmore, Martin Van Buren, or Winston Noble? The answer is Grover Cleveland. All right, this is level five. These should be the hard ones. What famous album cover is this? That's the cover to never mind the bollocks. Here's the Sex Pistols by the Sex Pistols. What 1995 film based on an Elmore Leonard novel features a B movie producer trying to land financing for his next film, Mr. Lovejoy? The answer is Get Shorty. What detective series was based on a 1967 drama that won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Actor for Rod Steiger? The answer is In the Heat of the Night. What is the name of this statue? That is the Statue of Unity, which can be found in the state of Gujarat in India. At a height of 182 meters, it is currently the tallest statue in the world. Buford Puster, in addition to having a great name, 
was a Tennessee sheriff who fought a virtual one-man war on moonshining, prostitution, gambling, and other vices. What 1973 cult classic film starring Joe Don Baker was based on his life? The answer is Walking Tall. And that's it for this week's quiz. Add up your score and leave them in the comments. Hey, while you're there, how about throwing us a like and maybe subscribing? We'll be back next week with an all new quiz. Have a good week.